ambitious plans for Squirrel Hill. A local developer is proposing a major development at a high profile intersection. John Shumway joins us live with the details. John. Yeah, we have seen an awful lot of development going on in the North Hills, South Hills, Lawrenceville, South Side, and this developer says it's about time Squirrel Hill saw some of that action. Developer Herky Pollock has a passion for this corner of Squirrel Hill. I grew up in this neighborhood. I went to that high school. This is my backyard. He says he sat in the Starbucks up the street a few years ago with Mayor Bob O'Connor and envisioned a jump start to this area, starting here on the corner of Murray and Forward. And hopefully it will spread throughout Squirrel Hill. And I'm carrying on that vision right now. And this is that vision. 10 stories, 130 apartment units. 130 parking spaces, 13 to 14,000 square feet of retail. And in that first floor space? Probably one or two restaurants, some neighborhood service amenities, perhaps a daycare, things that appeal to the, the neighborhood as, as well as people from a farther distance away. It'll be right next to where Action Housing is building on the old Polize site. And there are condos coming up the street. His building, which will include property where the old Squirrel Hill Theater now sits, is not a sudden whim. I have the property under control, under agreement. I've been working this for about 18 months. And if the needed approvals come through... We hope to start probably the first or second quarter of next year with construction and be open in 18 months. Yeah, and there are an awful lot of people who are anxious to find out more about this based on the people who stopped and talked to us today. And so Herky Pollock is going to be at the Jewish Community Center tonight with all the plans to answer all the questions of the residents and folks in that area about exactly what this plant building is going to be like and how soon it's going to be coming. Anything you want to know, that meeting starts in 22 minutes at the Jewish Community Center. Reporting live, John Shumway, KDK-TV News.